There are many, many reasons why you might not be getting the print-on-demand sales that you wished for. And in this video, I want to highlight the three reasons I think you're not getting any print-on-demand sales. Now, bear in mind, these are just potential reasons. They might not be the reasons that you're not getting sales. There might be other factors in play why you're not getting other sales, but I just wanted to highlight three very, very likely reasons you're not getting any print-on-demand sales. Let me just quickly say, before I tell you these three reasons, if you are new here, I wanna firstly say thank you so much for choosing to watch one of my videos. My name is Shimmy Morris, as you can probably tell from down below, and I make print-on-demand videos, I make Amazon FBA videos, I make videos on you know how to make money online, all these kind of things. And I would really, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100K and you are the reason why I'm going to make it to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. Let's just get cracking on with this video. Now, if at any point you feel one of these three reasons are related to you, hit that like button and uh, yeah, I'm ready to tell you these three reasons. So starting with reason number one, one, there is no call to action within your marketing attempts, either your Facebook ads, your Pinterest you know, posts, your Instagram posts, you don't have a call to action. Now, if you're asking what is a call to action, a call to action is basically just asking the potential customer to do something. Like how I asked you to subscribe and comment, that is a call to action, right? If I hadn't asked you to subscribe and comment, there is less chance of you actually going and doing it. The same way with your t-shirt. If you have an Instagram post or a Facebook ad, don't just have the post there and, and expect people to go and click the buttons and to go and buy. You have to say to them, click the button below to buy now, right? Literally, you know, make it as simple for these people as possible. And I'm not saying this as an insult to anyone, but by psychology, if you tell someone to do something, they are far more likely to go and do it, right? So if I show you one ad and it's just the t-shirt and I show you a second ad and in that ad, it says, click the button below right now to claim your t-shirt, right? That ad is going to get a lot more clicks and if it gets a lot more clicks, you're probably going to be getting a lot more sales from it. So that's the first reason. The second reason are the pricing elements. Now, when you create a t-shirt on Teespring, Redbubble, you know, Printify, Teasley, whatever it is, right? Take yourself through the customer's journey, right? From the beginning of the ad, all the way to the t-shirt's landing page, to adding it to your cart, to buying it. By doing this, you'll, uh, you'll allow yourself to fully see all the costs, and I mean the cost of the t-shirt, which let's say is $20, the cost of shipping, the cost of potential tax, right? By seeing all these costs, you can see if anything stands out to you, and if something stands out to you as not quite right, then fix it. So a common issue, which I actually spoke about in a previous video where you can click it up there, it's all about how you know shipping is very, very expensive for print on demand, and it's probably stopping your sales, right? That video is up there, but wait, wait, don't, don't click it yet. Right, we're still talking here, but that is one of the big issues. And how can you fix something like that? Well, firstly, if you wanna fix tax, you can't really do anything about that. If you wanna fix the product price, you can choose whatever product price you want. And the most important thing is shipping. If you wanna fix shipping, then you can offer free shipping. So if you see shipping is costing five or $6, then offer free shipping, right? And in order to do that, you just need to create a coupon code and have it on the description or maybe have it in the ads. Now you're probably thinking, well, if I offer free shipping, it reduces my margins. And yes, you are correct. And there's two ways to look at it, like two ways to look at this. Way number one is you reduce your margins. You make very, very little profit. However, in time you build a buyer list, you build um, a reputation for a certain t-shirt, you know that gets sales then you go off and you source it privately and you sell it privately. That is one way of doing it. The second way of doing it is just charging more for the t-shirt but offering free shipping. And this is another one of those buyer psychology things where if you have two items, this one is $7 plus $3 shipping and this is $10 with free shipping, this one will get a lot more sales than this one because people see the free shipping and that is the that is what they take into account, right? Even though it's the same price, they see the free shipping because a lot of people feel shipping is a waste of money, right? When you're buying something, so let's say this phone, right? You're buying this phone. This costs however much, right? When I pay for the phone, I feel like I'm actually getting something. But if I'm paying $20 or 20 pounds to ship this phone to me, the shipping doesn't feel like a tangible item and it feels like a waste of money, right? Which is why 
if you raise the price of the t-shirt, it will still get you sales, right? Because they're still feeling like they're getting a tangible item. I don't know if tangible is the right word, but they're still feeling like they're getting an item. Whereas if there's ex an expensive shipping cost, it will feel like they just won't want to do it. And that is why if you have a look at potentially your statistics, or I looked at mine, there is a huge number of cart abandonments. And that means when someone adds it to their cart, they go all the way through, they see the shipping cost, they freak out and they exit right out of there, right? So that's the second reason, and that is a big, big reason, and that's what that whole video is about. Um, so yeah, that is a huge reason why you could be potentially harming your sales. And the third reason, this last reason is so, so important, and that is having really, really good designs. Now wait, before you go and you think, oh, I've heard this before, you have to understand, now more than ever before, designs are incredibly important. And I'm saying this because back Ages ago, I had only, only happened once, but I sold a t-shirt that had a really big, bad spelling mistake on it. And I still sold a crap ton of those t-shirts. I didn't get a single email asking me um, about the spelling mistake. I didn't get a single comment on my Facebook ad telling me about the spelling mistake. I noticed it because my brother saw the t-shirt and he immediately saw the spelling mistake and was like, dude, this is, this is the wrong spelling. And I went in and I, uh, I emailed Teespring, I changed it. And thankfully that, uh, they changed the, the, the spelling, they changed the design slightly before it went to print. So no one actually got the spelling mistake. However, it didn't stop it getting literally tons of sales before anyone even noticed or said anything. But that was back then. Nowadays, the design of a t-shirt is so important because people everywhere are focusing on design a lot more. And I would say it's nearly, maybe even more important than the, than the marketing because People can suss out a bad design over a good design. And because there are so many good designs out there, you have got to make sure that you are one of those people who are creating brilliant, brilliant designs. I hope these three points really resonate with you. And let me just quickly go over the three points again before I end up this video. The first reason is, do you have a call to action? Look at your ads, look at your marketing, look at your just your Instagram posts, not necessarily your paid ads, but also your free marketing. Do you have some form of call to action in the description, on the actual post, a huge post uh, a huge potential post which does really well is you know where you have the black bar at the top and the bottom and it can literally be like click the button below to buy now right and you've got the picture in the middle that's a great post so that's the first reason the second reason is go through your your customer's journey so to say and uh, see how much things are costing them right and potentially if there is a big shipping cost get rid of it remove shipping always offer free shipping i don't care what it does to your bottom line remove the shipping cost especially nowadays with things like amazon prime and every company out there pretty much offering free shipping do not be that person charging a fortune for shipping and then finally the third reason is you have got to have brilliant designs okay really really good designs and if that if you can't do it then go and hire someone on fiverr or 99 designs or upwork right but you've got to have class designs right now if you feel you're still not getting sales and it's not because any of these three things let me know in the comments down below because as you probably noticed if you've watched any of my other videos i pretty much try and respond to every single comment and i spend hours every single day responding to as many comments as i possibly can and this is why i hope i get to 100k but if you feel like you're 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 not getting sales and it wasn't these three reasons let me know in the comments down below let me know what you think it is and maybe i can make a video about that and a way to actually rectify that all right so all you have to do is you know leave a comment down below and i can do that for you and lastly right this is lastly i promise you okay i don't promise you but lastly if you haven't already checked out my instagram account you can see here i am posting videos every single day i'm posting a photo every single day with a little video 60 second video that isn't on youtube right it's just a it's it's you know just for instagram and it's really really good content and i feel like you'll genuinely really like these little you know motivational or business tips just really cool stuff so go over to instagram and my username is at shimmy morris one right that's spelt like this and uh, yeah go and check that out hopefully you'll like that kind of stuff and i can see you over there on my instagram as well so i just want to say thank you very very much for watching i really really appreciate it as you know i bring out videos sunday Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. BST, that's British summertime at the moment. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing you choose this video. I've got some really, really cool videos planned this week. I know you're gonna like them. One of them, and I'm gonna tell you what one of them are, is three ways you can make money just using your mobile phone. And this was an idea from one of you guys. You left a comment down below asking me to do this. And it's three ways to make money just using your mobile phone. And I'm not talking about using any of these rubbishy apps. It's a really, really cool video. So hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can see over here, there is another video here. This is the video where I talk about how Teespring is potentially killing your sales by charging an absolute fortune for shipping. So go and click this link if you wanna check out that video and hopefully I'll see you in that video.